Welcome into K State Online. I am Mason Both. That is Derek Young and Drew Galloway. We are here with a brand new endeavor. Way to try and kill some time during the offseason, have a little bit of fun. So we are going to call this the Friday Five. Here's how it's going to work. Drew and DY are going to go head to head with each other. I have some questions prepared for them, and they are going to give answers. We're going to keep track of it, and at the end, we're going to have a winner. There are going to be five. I don't know that they're necessarily questions, but prompts, and you'll have to give whatever I'm looking for within those. There are different categories here, different types of answers you will give. Now, four of them are just, you're each going to get a question. You have one specific answer. Now, each one of those will be worth one point. Now, at the end, the fifth round, that will be, uh, you know, in honor of the basketball team, that'll be five to grind. You're going to have five possible answers. You get a point for each one. So, you know, if you're out of it going in late, you got a chance to make up for it. And uh, I'll just I'll make it easy. If somebody answers incorrectly in the first four rounds, the other person will get a chance to steal it. So that just seems like a nice, fair thing to do for everybody. Make sense or uh, mass confusion for everybody here? Yeah, sounds good. I, I was about to ask if we needed to like buzz in. No, nope, no buzzing in. We'll just pick somebody to start with and uh, go from there. <laughs> uh, I the buzzer thing would not work. I wish there was a way that we could make the buzzers work, make they, it a little bit more fun, but not happening. We need to. That would have to be part of the software because I'm sure there's some <laughs> lag and everything that we have going on. Yeah, I mean, I I have some options here that I can play sounds. I don't think that you guys are able to though. So let's just get into it. As I uh, just hope that my daughter stays sane in her crib while we do this. So. We will move on. I got to make sure I got everything uh, prepped properly for what oh. I'm looking for here. By the way, today, my shout outs to Louisville. You probably hired a better coach than Kentucky. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Shout I, out there. I, I think I agree with that. Uh, actually, I don't know. Yeah, All right. Be. You boys ready to, to do this? I have randomly selected that Drew is going to go first here. Oh, yeah. So the first category that you guys are going to have uh, this is around MHK. So I'm going to show you a picture of something on the screen, and you have to tell me the name of that place. Uh, I don't think either of these are too terribly hard, and I did take into consideration the fact that DY, number one, did not go to school at K-State, and number two has only been here since 2017 or whatever. Correct. Yeah, so I didn't want to you know, throw him for a loop and give him some deep cut that you know only somebody that uh, has been a, you know around here their whole life would know. But Without further ado, we'll get into it. Let me pop this up, see if I uh, make sure that I don't screw anything up and show you guys the wrong thing and tip my hand. But this is for Drew. Uh, he is going to have to tell me what that building is, <laughs> what that location is. You have to give me the name. Uh, I feel like most K-Staters would know, even if you maybe never even had a class in there. Um, is this... Uh... Hang on. Let me, uh, let me show you. I do have some... Uh, dramatic music to play behind just in case but you can give the answer whenever you want and i i better start a timer because there were times where i think uh when i did it with with jimmy and scott that it maybe got a little bit long so i'll uh i'll get the stopwatch going here i'll give you i'll give you i'll give you a minute you know have some fun here uh this is uh throckmorton isn't it wow well i wish i was smart enough to have a buzzer that told you that you got something correct uh, but yes, that would be correct. That is Throckmorton. Uh, Do you ever have a class inside of Throckmorton as you uh, uh, put up the first point of the day? I had uh, natural. No, wait. Yeah, it was natural disasters inside of Throckmorton. Wow. How about that? Natty D for Drew Galloway inside of Throckmorton. I had two classes in there in my life. Uh, one of them was my introduction to biological anthropology. I didn't learn a ton in that class. Oh, I did. I just didn't retain any of it. And then the uh, second one was my first go round at trying to understand macroeconomics. And <laughs> I, I, I poorly scheduled that semester and just blew that class off a lot. And my punishment for it was I had to take it a second time. Uh, so, yeah, that, I've got, you know, mixed emotions about Throckmorton, but cool name uh, right just, there on the edge. Just a heads up above around MHK. I think there's the. You it can't says, see what it says, what it's supposed yeah. to be. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, uh, I, I'm going to take Drew as a man of honor. and that I, he I did know this because I did have a class there. Okay. Well, I, I have I have a way to fix this. Uh, 
actually, I know what the issue was, and so I can make sure it doesn't happen on D wise. But they, thank you, you thank you two for being, you know, <laughs> men of their word and uh, wanting to uphold the integrity of this game. Uh, so let me let me wipe that off, get that out of here. We don't want that anymore. I saw it after the fact for the for what I also said. saw it after. Okay, it. well, you know, I, you guys are just a couple of cheaters. Uh, <laughs> let me see here, make sure I've. All right, I don't think you can see it now. So let's dive in. I'll get the music going here, and uh, we'll flip everything around, make it look pretty. This is people are like, man, this is going to take a long time to figure out. Yeah, you're probably right. Okay. This is for DY now. He has to tell me the name of this location, and I promise it is not on the screen. If it is, I'm an idiot. It is not on the screen. Isn't that just the, the mall or something? It has a name, DY. It has a name. <laughs> I, I don't know the exact name. I know it's the mall. Well, people are probably going to think that I'm being a hard ass, but I will not accept <laughs> the mall. Uh, I'm like Ken Jennings here. You know, you, you got to be a little bit more specific. I'm waiting on the real answer. It's something probably like Commons, I'm, I'm sure, but I I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. Wow. All right. Well, uh, negative buzz for DY Drew. <laughs> here is your chance to steal because I'm going to guess maybe you do know the name. Uh, I'm going to say a mall of MHK. Oh, my gosh. I thought this one would maybe be a little bit easier for you two, but uh, both – disappointing me all right let me find my uh, text that's manhattan town center come on uh, maybe some people are going to tell me i'm wrong or find something that says that i should have given credit there but i want to be a stickler for the rules early on in the process manhattan town center the proper name for i just it. know that that's the mall hey look <laughs> i know it is the mall i refer to it generally as the mall but i also know its proper name manhattan town center I also know its proper name now part of that i would probably chalk up to the fact that i worked at K man, and so you just kind of pick up on uh, all these things that normally you wouldn't care about in the world, I would say, uh, but you you know you have to there. So all right, one nothing after one round. Uh, what what are the what are the emotions after uh, one go round here? Are you thinking that this game's going to suck and it's going to be a waste of your time? I no, might be in trouble it, going it, forward it, here. It's kind of making me feel stupid. I will say that. Okay, <laughs> well I don't. I, that's not the goal here. So I'm going to give you guys. Uh, I feel okay. I feel kind of bad about the next one. <laughs> oh God! Because this one might make you feel more stupid. In my head, I was like, I could tell immediately. But uh, as you guys will see, the category coming up is something that I'm very passionate about. Okay, we're gonna I'm, flip it around. Dy more, gets to go first now. I'm more of a West Side guy too. So. I thought about that, but I knew if I gave the old Chicago or something, you'd know it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Dy is going to get to go first here. I Again? promise the name is not on the screen because I purposefully did not put the name on this one in case I would possibly screw something up. So let me get it back up here. Uh, I'm double checking. Okay, name is not there. Let's get the graphic back up. The music will start. And uh, DY, you can have your go around here to guess. You just have to tell me the name of that Wildcat basketball player. Oh, I, I purposefully think... picked players that I thought had notable features or accessories and i also made sure that they were well one of them dy he did play at k-state while you were on the beat i don't think he did i don't know <laughs> oh sh you know what now that i'm thinking about it i don't think he did uh, this is cause... not someone i've ever covered i don't know okay who this is. is not a fair one for dy i will i will say this now because i was matching up years uh, you probably this was, do it 16, 17, so it's probably a season. Yeah, that's you. no, that's exactly what it was. So I, I, I think I have a guess for this. Okay, well, the the next guy, do I definitely would not know. Uh, so Drew, I'm gonna let you go here, but you have to give your point to Dy. <laughs> Is this Patrick Muldoon? Wow. Okay. Well, white guy wearing the number 35. Not a horrible idea. That's Austin Budkey, though. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. You know Austin the funny Bud thing is? That would have been my guess. <laughs> Patrick Muldoon? No, Austin Budkey. I would have oh. got it right. Uh, That's the I, only I, other, like, random, like, bizarre player you guys always talk about before my time. So whenever a random question comes up on who's that, I always say Austin Budkey. <laughs> I mean, Austin Budkey stands out because he always had the wristbands on there. Uh, because I jacked up, I am giving D.Y. a point. Uh, just I, I feel like I'm obligated to. I feel like he should get a point for knowing them all, so we're, we're even. 
Okay. All right. That's fair. However you guys want to view it, totally fair. We'll call it good. Austin uh, Bucky does come around a lot still, so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's, you know, noticeable guy. Just know that he was always rocking wristbands, probably harder than any other guy you would ever expect. Three, okay. Three-point sniper? No. No. Mm, yeah. No. Walk on that got to play, maybe. I'm not going to say that. He he deserved his minutes he got the he first year he was there. That's and then he played a little bit, so. Yeah, no, he he was he was solid. Uh, Hutchinson Hutchinson Community College guy, which I thought about backing up. And the next guy that I was going to give Drew, I was like another HCC guy that was on the team at the time. But I thought that might be too tough. So shout out to Zach Winner. Uh, I didn't want to deep cut these guys. All right, this is Drew's name. That cat. Oh, this is Brian Rowletter. Oh, okay. Well, that's perfect for perfect for Drew to get. That is indeed Brian Rowletter, Mister Technical Foul himself in the NCAA tournament. Uh, so Drew gets his his second point here. Nice nice go run early, and uh, we're doing things the the right way. Starting to get into a flow, hopefully. Uh, any memories of Brian Roller other than him getting teed up prior to the start of the game against Kentucky? Literally just that. Is that for dunking? Think, yes, yeah. that was for dunking. Yeah. When that was still a rule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now now but, that's now that's the only thing that happens in warmups is dunking. Yeah, I mean, Brian Rolletter, if you're thinking about it, was a, a face of change. He's I was about to say, I'm pretty sure this changed like after Brian Rolletter's dunk. They should yeah. call it the Brian Rolletter rule. I agree. I agree. The B row rule. Uh, <laughs> all right. So it's two to one. Let me let me wipe what I got going on here and stop the screen sharing. And uh, all right. I feel I feel bad about screwing up years. I thought I was being mindful of it. I wasn't. Now is something that you guys don't even have to like know jack about uh, year wise because you just got to tell me the uh, the name of the school that I'm going to flash on the screen. Both okay. of these schools that you guys are getting have been non conference basketball opponents within like the last two or three years. It's going to be bizarre. okay. So you know, I yeah. I like mascots and their names. You have to tell me the name of the school. So I'm going to flash up the logo. You go from there. We're back to Drew going first. DY, I know it feels like you haven't answered a question yet. You really haven't. Uh, that's that partly on me, mall. partly on you not knowing your malls. I don't know. Hasn't answered a question, but has a point. That's true. All right. There you go, Drew. Tell me so, what team this is. You have to give me the name of the school and the mascot. Not the name of the mascot, but, you know, what the, you know. It, you know, like uh, K-State is the Wildcats. You have to give me that for this team. Nickname. It's the UT Rio Grande Valley, like, they're not the Islanders, but that was the first thing that popped into my head. Is, is it like a the? It's like Gauchos or Desperados, something like Cowboy. I feel like. But you gotta pick uh, one. You just picked four. We're, we're gonna go with Gauchos. That's wrong. Mm. That is wrong. Dy is correct. He so he gets a chance for a steal here. He feels. I think confident. it's the 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 Vaqueros. The Vaqueros. Ooh. Yes, I think that that's right. Give the man a point. He is correct. The UT Rio Grande Valley Vaqueros. I think Bonus point, point. Bonus point. Curtis Kelly is on their staff. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, DY called it for himself. Bonus point. I'm giving him two and a half points for a little fun <laughs> fact. He's going to fact school. check it. He's like, yep, that's good. <laughs> no, I'm trusting you. I'm, no, I'm, I'm pretty give sure you Curtis, a... Curtis Kelly is the special assistant to the head coach at UT Rio Grande Valley, I believe. All right, well, uh, D.Y., big move there. Two and a yep. half to two-point lead. Uh, again, if you have problems with the way that the rules have gone, that's We're making them up as we go. <laughs> that's exactly right. We have we have to do that uh, just for the sake of fun. Okay, now we'll move on. I can pull up again. I, a lot of a lot of work I got to do here myself. Okay, <laughs> now this is D.Y.'s question, so he's got a chance to add to this. I feel good about him moving forward now after getting the most <laughs> recent ones. So. Let me get the music going again. Just got to love it. I don't even know where I pulled this from. I think just some random YouTube video. It's worked out good for me. All right. DY, you have to tell me what school this is. I promise the name of it is not on the screen. The Omaha Mavericks. That's correct. Drew, was that too easy? Did I give him too easy of a one? Was I? Yeah, Drew, no, no, because Drew literally yeah. had the abbreviations for his school. I was going to say, I had the abbreviations, so I mean, I think it's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, I now you were a stickler and said Uni University of Omaha. No, I don't need that for not for these guys. 
They so. have a, uh, I'm not going to claim bonus points here, but just I can give you a little, you know, fun fact. They have someone in the transfer portal that is a one in man right now, I believe, in Frankie Fiddler, right? Yeah. Oh, name. not, okay. I uh, I guess he's from Omaha, not New Mexico State. So when you say wanted man, he's not <laughs> actually wanted by the police. He's wanted by schools. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, what, yeah, I think uh, Wisconsin, schools like that are after him. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, D.Y., I want you to know that your fun fact that you didn't want to take credit for has backfired. Drew Galloway now gets a bonus point. So it is now three and a half to two and a half. Uh, your point goes to him. Somebody has to get the fun fact points, and I gave them to Drew. So uh, that's how the show's working all of a sudden. Your lead has shrunk despite getting the uh, the question correct. So it is now three and a half to two and a half. We, we'll move on. Uh, this is our, our next to last round, and this will be very timely because it's time to talk about the transfer portal. And uh, the, the guys I'm going to show you, they aren't necessarily uh, from the actual portal era, but they did transfer to K-State at one point, both ironically in the same season. So you're going to know the player. You're going to get a look at them. But you guys are going to have to tell me what school they came to K-State from. So okay. I will uh, throw this up there. Make sure I got. I don't want to. I don't want to cheat again for anybody. Yeah. I feel bad about that the first time around. Even if Drew promises as a man of character that he didn't look. All right, you have to tell me, uh, Dy, where did this man named James Gilbert transfer from to be a part of the 2019 Wildcats? Ball State. That is correct. It is Ball State. There he is. Look at the right. look at the Cardinal himself. Well, was that just like the anticipation there? You just wanted to keep people on the edge of their seats for the delay? That was what? a good delay. What do you mean? It was, like, it was like the delay before you told me I was right. I was then I was starting to second guess myself. No, I just uh I was I was going to make sure that I had the graphic ready to go Dispensable. and uh, Yeah. Well Dave here's Letterman, the bottle water, ball state. Who? Dave Letterman. Is that well, your fun fact? That's my fun fact about Ball State. All right, you guys are learning how the game works. Dy is up to four and a half points now with getting that correct that question right. But Drew, I, I get a fun fact three. on James. Fun fact on James Gilbert. Okay, currently, well, the running currently the running backs coach at Pitt State. That is a factual hmm. statement. I don't know that that one is worth giving you points <laughs> for. I don't. Not a gor- not, not a fan of the gorillas. I uh, don't know. I don't know that I'm feeling that one. I appreciate the the effort and the thought process there, but that I don't need to know about Pitt state. <laughs> I know, Good luck I know to James Pitt, Gilbert. I know, I know a Pitt state alum that might disagree. Yeah. I also know a Pitt state alum. That's probably going to be very upset with you. I mean, I just, I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a gorilla K- guy. Casey I'm not, gorilla. Casey <laughs> gorilla. I'm not, I'm, I don't, I don't care about Pitt state. I just don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, Drew, you now have to tell me the other, running back transfer from 2019 and where he came from uh, the uh, university of North Carolina. Yeah. Those were probably easy ones to start off with, uh, but you get your point. You're now within a half point of DY. So uh, there you go. That, I didn't even play the music for that one, but <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, I'll make it tougher life. next time. I just, I wanted to, you know, start off slow here. Any no, fun no, facts? No, fun, I think that was before Mac Brown, right? Yeah, Jordan probably. Brown would have been so good if he would have stayed healthy. Yeah, he's so probably was, a fedora guy. Yeah, uh, well, you were saying fedora. I almost said Gene Chizik. So, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know that. Well, I yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think it's fedora. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys the option right here on the screen to decide who gets to go first here, and you get to pick the category you want. You get two options here because remember, this is our five to grind. There are gonna be five points available in each round here. You guys are gonna play rock paper scissors on the screen right now. <laughs> It's one and done. So whoever wins it gets to pick the category and go first. Go ahead. Rock, paper, scissors, cut. <laughs> wow. Two scissors. Okay. Uh, let's go again. You just however you want to settle this. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> What's pick? funny about this too is that it looks like there's a delay on my end. So it's like I see DY put one down, and then it's almost like Drew is screwing with him. He's like, I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'll go, I'll go first. There you go. Yeah. That's okay. Fine. All right. Uh, here are your options. The, the categories here. Well, I don't really want to tell you now, but Drew, you want a basketball or a football question? Uh, we'll go with a football question. 
Okay. All right. Interesting, uh, interesting tactic that you have here. Let me uh, pull the music up because you'll need some more time to think on this one. It's rocking and rolling. Okay. I'm going to get this going so we have the everything on the side. Drew, you you need a big showing here because that half point, it looms large <laughs> going into this it round. It is really large here. All right. It is Drew going here. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, yeah, you're ahead, D.Y. Drew, you have to tell me the last five NFL stadiums that K-State has played a football game in, and they cannot be – like, okay, they played in this stadium multiple times. They have to be the last five unique stadiums that they've played in. So the last five different NFL teams that K-State has played in their stadium for, you got to give them to me here. So do, in any do order. Have, do I have to say full name of stadium or how does this work? No, you, if you just give me the team name, that is uh, that is fine with me. Do I get to steal if he misses any? Uh. Yeah, yeah, I'll let I'll let you maybe steal if you if he misses any. So you don't have to go in order, but you only are going to get the opportunity to uh, answer the the amount of times that you need. So every time you get one wrong, you have one less chance of a guess. So you basically only have five guesses here, is what yep. I'm trying to say. Okay, I was I was about to say I'm trying to figure out my lay of the land here. Yeah, yeah. So this is everybody's first time. Yep, it is. Yep. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Saints. That is correct. Cowboys. That is also correct. Texans. Let me make sure that I uh, have the. the <laughs> that uh, is correct. That is correct. I just had. I had to find. The, I had to find the the little thing to pop up there. Don't worry. I knew it was correct. I knew it was correct. Okay. okay. So then, try to backtrack my years a little bit. Does get a little tricky at this point, I think, as long as I did everything the right way. I even, you should thank me, I thought about doing this to where it was just the last five pro stadiums that K-State had played a game in. So I about had you give me like the Arizona Diamondbacks, but oh. I, didn't, I didn't do that. So it's only NFL teams, but you have two guesses remaining. And because we might be stalling here, I am, uh, I'm going to put you on the clock. So you have to give um. me your next answer in 15 seconds. Cardinals. That is still correct from the uh, from the Fiesta Bowl. So you can see. I mean, I should maybe I shouldn't have put them in order like I did for you, but you can probably start to deduct. I mean, that's a pretty big gap going between NFL stadiums played in uh, in terms of different ones. So I'm going to reset it, and now I'm going to give you I'm going to give you 30 seconds now to try and get the last one. And if you get it wrong, the DY gets to guess. Probably not a lot of options left, right? Is, is the last uh, one? There's 28 options left for Drew to select from. There's 28, well, technically well, I meant, speaking. Well, I meant that kids had actually played. It's true. Did I tell you? I gave, you have 10 seconds to give me an answer, Drew. Uh, Chargers. We're going to stop the clock. That is incorrect. So, Drew, uh, you get four points here. Valiant effort. You now lead eight to four and a half. D.Y., you get a chance to steal here. Really no impact if you get it wrong. Yeah, this is probably a little bit harder for me. I'm just going to guess the Chiefs. Okay, that is also incorrect. Let me uh, throw up there the last stadium. Uh, this one you had to go back deep for, and my, you know I don't know how you'll feel about it, Drew, but it would be Sun Life Stadium where the Dolphins played because that is where the Miami game took place in 2011. I totally forgot that that's where the Miami game. Yeah, I would have never got that. So yeah, yeah. So there you I go. Thought, I thought Miami was on campus. Yeah, no, they were they're right there in the pro stadium. All right, so it's eight to four and a half. DY, this is big for you. You only have to get four of these right, the same amount that Drew got right. Well, uh -huh. actually, that's kind of wrong because Drew could steal and get it. So I guess I shouldn't <laughs> tell you that. Uh, well, you know, we're we're figuring this out. Math is involved, and as you guys know, I shared about my macroeconomics go around. Uh, I'm not a great math guy. Never have claimed to be. So. Because Drew took football from you, now, D.Y., you have to tell me the last five NBA arenas that K-State played a basketball game inside of. Might be a little bit tougher, uh, yeah. but here you go. Uh, you you got to know your your hoops here. Yeah, I, Madison Square Garden. Uh, that is correct. That's one point. Yeah, I'm going to really fall flat on the other ones probably. I'm trying to think. 
I will to... I will say uh, only one of these would have taken place prior to you covering K State. And again, I only need to know the team name. You don't have to give me the the venue name because I mean I'll take it if you give it to me. But they oh, obviously changed happened? names. So they they played at NBA games when I was there. Mm -hmm. So is one of them the Atlanta Hawks because they played in Atlanta? They played Kentucky there. That is correct. Phillips Arena, home of the Hawks. Okay. Um, none that I went to. So it's that year, probably. Uh, now I'm going to say the one before me, and this might be me going out on a stretch a little bit, but I remember people saying they had to go from the first floor, then all the way out to Sacramento. So I'm going to say the Sacramento Kings. What a pull. That is from the year you weren't there, as we established with Austin Budkey, the Golden One Center, home of the Kings. Yeah. Um, well, you have two guesses remaining. If yeah, you get both, you win. You get one and miss one. Drew gets a chance to uh, to take it here. I can't believe that the other two are from that. Charlotte Hornets? That is correct. The Charlotte Hornets, the Spectrum Center. Uh, that yeah, is where K-State started the 2018 NCAA tournament. I was going to say, the Elite Eight run was Atlanta and Charlotte. And then, so, wh what other year would it, they have made it? I'm oh, putting the following year, when they played UC Irvine, was that the Golden State Warriors? Is that your final answer? Or the win? They, no, they played in San Jose. Yeah, I'd have, probably that's my answer. I can't think of another one, but that's wrong because they played in San Jose. Yeah, that is incorrect. Drew is going to get a chance to steal here. Hang on, Drew. Don't say anything for the dramatics of all this. Let me put DY score up. He leads eight and a half to eight. Oh, you God, get one gonna... chance to win this game. You have to tell me the last remaining spot on there, the last five NBA arenas that K-State played in, just to add to D.Y., this is a little fun fact of my own. They play in the SAP Center where the San Jose Sharks play in the NHL. So, again, I could have uh, could have been a little sneaky guy there on you. I wasn't looking you for the – And you could have given me a you know a half a point or maybe one full point for knowing that. <laughs> All right, Drew, I'm giving you 40 seconds here. I, I, I think that this is wrong, but I remember them playing this game while I was in college. Didn't they play a game at the Nets Arena? The oh person? no! Play the play the sad. Who wants to be a millionaire? Music oh, that is oh, incorrect. Man. Dy is our winner. Uh, eight and a half to eight. The final score. The one you guys were missing. The 2019 team played at Marquette in the Pfizer Forum, where the Milwaukee Bucks oh. play. So there you go. That is uh, that's that's the sad end to our game. Drew had a chance. You were right on the edge. The one prior to playing in Sacramento, it would have been where the Nets play uh, up in Brooklyn. But that was the start of the year when they played. Was it like Boston College in Maryland or not Boston College? I thought it was Maryland State. Yeah, I can't remember. They lost to Maryland. I know in the in the title game there. So well. Unfortunate that Drew couldn't get the win. I'm glad DY's half point. Look at those. Look at that coming through, saving the day. So I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy it worked out for everybody here. Thoughts on the game and uh, how we're going to improve next time for this to be a little less clunky and uh, more exciting for you two and everybody watching. Uh, I don't know because I'm in the thick of it. You probably had a better bird's eye view of kind of orchestrating it of how it can probably go better maybe a, a definite time clock would it uh, yeah yeah I'll, I'll maybe i'll work on that maybe next time i'll have an actual clock on there for you guys that way you feel the heat a little uh, bit of pressure our first time going down to the wire i feel like uh, that's dramatic enough for everybody yeah no that's good close games are always good we actually on the fly i think we had to go to overtime for uh for fan and uh scott and that was it was actually bad because i had not accounted for what happens if they're tied at the end of this <laughs> So I don't even that's remember why, what that's I. That's why you got to give out random bonus points in the middle of the game. That's exactly that's that's a lesson that I've learned that I'm just going to give points however I want to, not you know like Mitch Fortner level points uh, early on in Mason versus Music versus John versus Movies. The final scores of those games would be like 300 to one. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to make them you know 
where they mean something, and obviously they did. So congratulations to DUI. He is our winner. We'll be back again next week. We'll have a little bit more fun, maybe. Who knows? And uh, if you want the serious KSO stuff, head over to kstateonline.com with On3 right now. Get everything that you need there. Football recruiting, basketball transfer portal, some significant stuff going on there this weekend. So go check it all out at KSO. For Drew Galloway, that is Derek Young. I'm Mason Voth. Thanks for watching K-State Online.